morning and welcome back to Dub C T V. I am Ebony Burris and I hope you all enjoyed your holidays. In today's school announcements. <laughs> Attention all seniors, come out and join us as we bring in the, as we bring in the new year with the cultural feast. The dinner will begin at 6 p.m. in the cafeteria sharp. So don't turn down a good meal. Our first block exams will start on Friday, January the 9th. Get ready. Senior, superla senior superlative voting will take place today in your lunches. Only seniors can vote, though. And while you're at it, purchase your tickets for Grammy's night. Let's go to Kayla with our Connect the World. <laughs> That's right, I got you covered. Here are the top five stories that made headlines over your break. Number five, the execution of two NYPD officers, Wing Jong Lu and Rafael Ramirez, occurred in a neighborhood in Brooklyn, resulting after the Eric Garner protests. The Sony Pictures recently released movie The Interview racked up a hefty $15 million during the first four days since it debuted. The success of the movie has outraged North Korea. And three, last Sunday another Indonesian plane appeared to be missing. 162 passengers were aboard. As of Monday, rescue teams have only found 37 passengers and small pieces of the plane due to weather restraints. Air Asia is planning on paying families $24,000 for each relative who was on the plane. Two, the trial began Monday for the infamous Boston bombers. Zar Sava. Him and his brother injured 250 people and killed three from the attack 19 months ago. He is facing 30 federal charges. And last but not least, sadly, we report on Sunday, ESPN correspondent and UNC alumni Stuart Scott passed away from his battle with cancer that he has been fighting since 2007. He was 49 years old. We hope you feel a little bit more connected and in tune with your world. Now back to Ebony. We all know what Wednesday means. Not only is it hump day, but women crush Wednesday. Our lady of the week is Miss Carrie Hilson. Hilson is a Hilson is a singer, dancer, and songwriter, and she also attended Emory University in Atlanta. She is also the girlfriend of the NBA star Serge Ibaka. Serving it up with Angel is up. What you got for us today, Angel? Good morning and welcome back to Serving It with Angel. I am Angel Volwear. This community service is try volunteering at Carolina's Medical Center for call team volunteering. If you are 17 and older, please dial the number below and ask to speak to the volunteering department. If you are 18 and older, please fill out the online application. Thank you. Take a look at some of the most popular fashion gifts you guys got for Christmas. Jordan <laughs> Columbian 11. Mm, I've seen Us, those already. Of course, what Kayla mentioned earlier. And North Face jackets. Keep you warm. And 2015 is not all about the year of the seniors. <laughs> but it's also <laughs> the year for new technology. Look at some of these gadgets. 3D printers. Would you like to have a printer that can create a pizza? Apparently, many people are interested. The shipments of the 3D printers will be will double in 2015. Number two, a 4K TV. Gosh. The ultra high D TV packs four times the resolution of HD, okay. so you can see every bead of sweat on an actor's brow. <laughs> what about the smart watches? You heard about those smart watches? Yeah. Apple is releasing smart watches in the spring that will measure blood flow and UV exposure. Wow. They're creating more and more new gadgets every day, I swear. What do you think you're going to buy? Do you buy any of these I mean, gadgets? I hope people will, you know, gift them to me cuz I don't like to waste my money on high stuff. I like to spend my money on other things. So, anybody want to purchase me a gift? There you go. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Today's inspirational quote is, yesterday is not ours to recover, but tomorrow it's ours to win or lose. London B. Johnson. Thanks for watching. I am Kayla Mitchell. And I'm Ebony Burris. 
question is, what are you going to do with your time? What drives you? And greatness is a lot of small things done well. Day after day, workout after workout, obedience after obedience, day after day. When things don't work out for you, when things happen that you could not anticipate, what are the reasons that you can think of that can keep you strong? You will never ever be successful until you turn your pain into greatness, until you allow your pain to push you from where you are to push you to where you need to be. Stop running from your pain and embrace your pain. Your pain is going to be a part of your prize, a part of your product. I, I challenge you to push yourself. See, it's easy to be on the bottom. It doesn't take any effort to be a loser. It doesn't take any motivation, any drive in order to stay down there on a low level. But it calls on everything in you. You have to harness your will to say, I'm going to challenge myself. I mean that what you did last week don't count. Today, today is the only important day. There are 86,400 seconds in a day, and how you use those are critical. You got 86,400 today, and what you do today is going to see me who you are. Nobody's going to talk about what you did last week.